Hello, hello, Ederson Oliveira here for dnnhero.com. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to run a DNN website from Amazon Web Services. Uh, most likely, this video will take a couple of, a couple of, uh, of small videos to, to get it done because it may take a while to go through the entire process. But let's get started here. So, Amazon uh, Web Services which there are, there are a bunch of services around Amazon. And one of those services is called Amazon EC2, Elastic Cloud, Elastic Compute, sorry, Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud. Uh, and this service will allow you to, to build uh, a cloud server that you can run your .NET website, not only one, but as many as, as, as you want. Uh, because again, one of the concepts about Amazon services is that it can grow as you grow your websites, as you grow your needs as well. And the other advantage of Amazon is that you only pay for what you use. Uh, so it's quite an interesting proposition. Now, the, uh, the, the flip side of that is that it's a bit hard to figure out how much you will be really paying monthly, but I was checking their prices here and for an entire year, you're going to have this amount of features here for free every month. Now, I believe that if you go beyond that, beyond those, you will be charged. But but again, uh, the focus of this video is how to set this up. And the best way is really, if you want to give it a try, set it up, run it for one or two months, see how the bills are done, and you can really judge if it's making sense. But they also have some calculators here that will allow you to do some assessment of what it might it may cost you but again let's just go back here and get this started so scrolling all the way up we have the sign up button let's go there now if you are already an amazon client uh you may have purchased stuff from amazon before um you can use the same login so the the same login the same credit card that you use there it will be used for Amazon Web Services as well. I have one already, so uh, I would just use that one. And But again, if you are a new client, you have to go through the entire registration process here. So let me just sign up. Now, I do already have Amazon Web Services EC2 registered on my account, but if you are doing that for the first time, if you are running this for the first time, you're going to be asked to validate your identity via your phone number. So uh, it will ask you to type in your phone number. And once you save that, your phone number will ring. And you have to type in the PIN number that shows on the website on your phone. But again, it's a very straightforward process, very simple. But I cannot walk through that because my account is already uh, validated. So from here... What I have to do, I have to go to the console. I have to go to AWS Management Console. When I go there, I can see a bunch of different services that are available. I'm going to go to the EC2 service. So again, this will only happen once you are validated. Now, the first thing that I, that I would do is select my region. You may want to choose a region that is closer to you uh, again depending on your location or closer to your clients just for the sake of example here i'm gonna select uh, us west uh, north california let's select this one actually it was the one already selected and from here we just need to click on launch instance let's just click there now there are two options here classic wizard and quick launch wizard the classic wizard will allow you to select some community configurations already uh, done, but I couldn't find anyone that was .NET Duke specific, even though I found some a web page that talk about like there was, but I didn't see any. So let's use just a quick launch wizard here and let's name our instance at the top. Let's call this DNN server and let's also name uh, a key pair, and this is for security purpose. So you need that to retrieve 
the administra administration password for your web server. So let's just call this my DNN server. Now, below here, actually before that, we need, again, we have named the key pair. We need to download the, the file and we have to save that. So let's just wait a second. Okay, so it's coming up. I'm just gonna save this. Now, keep in mind where you have saved this file because you will need, in a later step, you're gonna need that file to be able to retrieve the administrator password. So let's just minimize this for now. Now let's select our server. What is that we will, what is the setup of the server that, server that we will be running our DNN site? Now, of course it has to be Microsoft uh, Windows. So we have a bunch of options here. I'm gonna choose the option that has SQL as well because you're gonna need SQL Server as our database. And there are two options with SQL Server, one SQL Server Express, the other one SQL Server Web. I'm gonna go with the Express version. I would assume that would be cheaper to run the site from a SQL Server Express as SQL Server Express. Uh, there's no uh, licensing fees for that uh, application. And it has IIS as well. So I really think that this is the natural choice for our DNN website. Let's hit continue you have the opportunity here to have a look and see if uh, all is okay. I mean, you have to keep pair, you have the name, not much here to choose from. Uh, if you need to make change, just add details. Otherwise, we will just click on launch. Let's do that. Now, it's a matter of waiting. So you have to be a little bit patient and wait for your new instance to be launched, fully launched, because now it says your instance is now launching. So let's just close this. And from here, we can go, from here we can go back to instances in the left navigation. And you're gonna see that our server is running, but the status checks, it says initializing. We have to wait a little bit until this status checks. It says something like checks passed. This is the end of part one of the video on how to install DNN on Amazon EC2.